we get the tractor to carry the sand to you, carry the stone to you. No cost You see what they do. When we plant stuff and we're selling it, we sell you who are working with the estate at 10% below the wholesale price. So we sell potatoes for 2000 but we sell it for $1.80. So you could go sell and make more money on it. Yeah. So they encourage us now to plant more, uh, you to buy more, and uh, apart from you working here, you get something inside. But the crowning glory of it was I approached the World Food Program and told them we're trying to get sugar industry refurbished. And we want money to pay people, but we don't have no money. And we want them to help us for a period by giving them some food. And I was able to make six million dollars worth of flour and mackerel. Oh, I was about to ask about the flour and mackerel. Six million dollars of flour and mackerel. And everybody working on the estate every week, yeah. 10 pounds of flour, 14 of mackerel. So you have a uh, flour and uh, mackerel. <laughs> okay. So I'm showing you how we try to refurbish the thing. Get the things cheaper, you could buy cheaper food, buy some sell, get this. To go back to the peanuts. When we bring the most plow plowing the point, vrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
when the people in Germany, in the headquarters of the sugar industry said, if we get 40,000 tons of sugar, we're not going to be able to reap it. And I tell them, by good personal management, I can organize that. And we went through and got it. But now when Simon came in power, because I didn't run for election in East Bastia, I got fired in February 1980 to go home. This is 2018. This is 38 years after. And people getting sent home still. And the sugar industry started 38, 35, 33, 32, and the break even point was 30,000. We lost 30,000 in losing money. Then they started to lose money now. Started to lose money now. For the years, lose money now. But I don't know how they work out to the bank because I wasn't there. So I don't know what happened. What I do know. Is the coffee gone to hell? <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing down at all road without cream cam. You know, with mango tree and grapefruit and things and that. And if you ain't look after them, they're going to go down in value and so on. They went in, they went in too. They went in? They went in. They went in. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could expect, I could, ex I could expect, I don't know. Uh, everything had went in. Yeah, okay. Um, well, as far as onion, nobody want with that. As far as carrots and things, nobody worry with that. As far as big amount of peanuts, nobody happy to that. You want pineapple now, you better go pay dollars and dollars and dollars for pineapple. That squeezy looking one. Me used to get three pound pineapple. Yeah, they used to be big. <laughs> well, with plenty of water up there. So you don't drink water. Yeah, yeah. You go get it some, some sort of stuff that you got here. I remember the American ambassador to the West Indies, woman who was stationed in St. Lucia. She came in on the beach and she came to an apple. She said, I hear that you're going to find apples, but you're going to never be able to ride by Antigua, the Antigua Black and so on. <laughs> I said, um, we're going to go better and be, we're going to ride by Antigua Black. We're going to produce Antigua Black, but a bigger one. We take a one pound and one and a half for me on the year, two and a half and three, four pound. <laughs> and we did that. Over there, we had that. But all, that, all those things gone by the board. And next thing I did, which went to hell because I left the agricultural department, there are the group of people called Heifer International, headquartered in Little Rock, Arkansas. And they had an aim to assist poverty stricken people around the world to produce more food. And I entered into a program with them, and I got brought into St. Kitts the following, just as I was leaving the Ministry of Agriculture to go to Sayonara. So that also went to hell. How oh, it went to hell, I don't know. <laughs> Here's what I got. Eight Anglo-Nubian goats. I continue to them because I make up the program. Big hell of a hell bitching goat, not the little run ticking way they got. So you can get good goat meat. The aim of that is to breed up the local stock. Eight large white sows. I think all the Bureau of Jersey are brownie or black eat hog. And two boards from each. And 18. Halstein heifers produce milk and two Charolais bulls hell of a bitching heart with French animal behind to get food because then they have to breed up the local stock to get bigger animals that will run to thing and I told them the first thing you do is put the two animals up at the Indian castle where we had some red pole bull and uh, red pole cattle in Nevis. And down at Hard Times, Hard Times? Hard Times is in Nevis, so. I think it was Hard Times they were. They had some uh, Indian cattle with the, with the, the uh, bump on the back. Oh, the, okay. The, so, you got cross weed. Cross weed there. So, and keeping cutie, cutie had cattle down there. A 
let them for two months down there, let him breed up the cattle, let him come bigger cattle. But now here the program in the meat and the food. And this is how I got it. Because they told the people, we don't want to beg you forever and ever. We want one beg. <laughs> and we can walk from the one beg to improve ourselves. Right. And say thank you very much. So here was the program. You get the eight Anglo Nubian goats. And the first female offspring, you give it away to a farmer. He will breed it up. And the first female offspring, he give it away to another farmer. And the same thing was happening with the pigs. Twice a year, a little like 10, 20. And the same thing was happening with the hot steam peppers who are producing milk. They put them as beefers, and the first female offspring you give away to 18, to 18 farmers. And then 18 farmers give to 18 farmers and start spread them all over. Not buy, not sell them, give them to upgrade the stock. Yeah. And upgrade the stock on the two government farms in Nibis. We had Red Pole and Brahmin cattle, Indian cattle. I don't know how to do those programs. So I was in here getting the food stuff from the ground and the animals in the well. For the upgrade stuff, yeah. and the government didn't spend copper to buy them animals. They was, they was they, given? Right? They That's what I say, I begged them. All we did was to pay $10,000 to bring them from Florida to St. Kitts. And when the four stockmen came here, we put them up in Blakeney Hotel for a week and fed them around the place and then get food to eat them. So we didn't need bits and things, get photographs and go back. <laughs> yeah. Right? So that was the kind of programming that I was work, working on. And that was the starting. Because I had something in mind to do black pepper. I had something in mind to do nutmeg. I had something to do some expanded cocoa. There was a little cocoa in two places. And then you can have the coffee. And any other thing that you could have produced to kind of stop you from importing and put in the hotels and the restaurants and start to send here locally. A question. Yeah. Because that's when I we had a, a good set up for agriculture. No, you had we don't do. And we know that <laughs> agriculture right now gone to But you had we don't do. So we <laughs> <you>, would <laughs> you recommend that they do now to restore the agriculture to get a William Do. Get another William Do. <laughs> get a selfless person <laughs> looking for the advancement of the country, not the advancement of the <laughs> The people come and see some plants I have in my yard. And like probing in this old brother, I got the agriculture department to help me. My wife dig the whole to plant every one of them three of them. I go Guyana, I go Jamaica, I go Trinidad, I go Barbados, I go Dominica, I bring back plants. You whole plant them. Me help too. When we got this, this acre land to buy, it's because Shadow said it was producing eight tons of cane an acre, it was poor. Mm -hmm. I take my other uh, station wagon, 351 Maris Niner, go by the Gulf Coast where they cut up all them grass and stuff, back them up in the early man bring them to the motor in the place here. Go for the bay, collect, cow shit, sheep shit, back by back and bring them to the Dublin Indian. That's how we in here in in get our get. Right? Well, other people do that, they got more car now, more sheep, <laughs> more truck, yeah. more tractor, all that kind of thing now. They got bank money. I mean, I have to bank money. As a matter of fact, when I went to buy the money to build this house, although I was a director of the board of the bank, group of companies, unpaid, because I went to work on it for nothing. It was no bank you know. In here, this flew up here at my lounge sit up in the afternoon. You know, I had the car. And when I done work at the inspector's school in the afternoon, we wait outside, you know, we used to take. Mm -hmm. And we come up here and see them chat up here. And so my wife cook and get some food here and things like that. And we talk about what, how they could develop and things like that. And I could tell you a couple of ideas that I gave. 
for a 12 year old industrial bank. And then they changed that to the first bank of Sinkit Limited. And from that they changed it to National Bank. But it had very small amount of money and he had let out money to people and now he had pay back and all kinds of things. Like that. And he took it over and said he go and collect them debts and so on and so on. And he said they can build up this bank and um, run it and so on. But he had very good ideas and he was doing good things and so on. But my suggestion to him was them big bank parties and Royal Bank of America from Screech to Totten. Horsefoot and Totten and all them people got big candy and they had a bunch of shit. And so he came to the car the Penny Bank. Mm -hmm. Piggy Bank. And my suggestion was, man could buy shares and put money in there, and build up this thing, but they have the money. So you sell them the shares, and they pay the shares over 20 months, five percent a month. So I get a dollar here, pay five cents this month. So I got five thousand shares, five thousand five cents. I pay five cents a month for 20 months. Well, that took off. Got a lot of people now who ain't got no money. But could get a little couple of cents in and run that way. And I took off some of my time, went to St. Thomas, went to Montserrat, St. Thomas, and called people to buy. I paid for my years over that period 20 months. Okay? No. So when you go up now, you start to develop. I say you have to look after yourself. <laughs> so if you're lending people money to build a house or to buy care, you let them go insure with somebody else so they get insurance on it. No, set up your insurance company. Okay. So I come to borrow money from you to build a house. And then you, but you insure the house with me. Borrow you to buy a car in buy care for me. And then now, when I got sent into NACO, I said, well, you have a real insurance company. I got 145 tractors, 45 land rovers, four trucks, two cars. All of them going in there. And I got a building, because the building three people who are in the estate belong to yeah. But the one did the rolling stock in mine. So, you know, from day one, the insurance company take off. When I was trying to buy to, to get a bill here, my plan was to have a wind charger, charge batteries, run the house, hook in the general mains. Only when the battery is low, I pay for electricity from outside. Water. I wanted half of this house to have a cistern underneath. But the bank couldn't lend me the money to give it charger and to the cistern. So I built in 1972 without wind charger, without cistern. I could have had my money for the water, my money for the electricity, and I could have been cool. Okay? So I'll show you that even though I was on the bank board unpaid, I couldn't get the loan I wanted. Hmm. Hmm. My money going to the, the, the bank, the salary, my wife working for the government salary going to the bank, two accounts in there, take out what we owe you every month. They didn't pay me and I come and I pay. <laughs> pay the money, my salary in the bank, we come to you. So you're taking $840 a month, take it out and put the rest in your account. Okay? So I got no favors. I got a fence out there. You know how I get it? <laughs> then my wife decided we're going to plant cucumbers and say. So we're going to plant cucumbers every fortnight. So we sell cucumbers every week. And we started that. And Rams will come and buy cucumbers for $75, $80, $80 a pound. 
کنونم خیلی فراهم در دره یک این دره پیک پیک تو دره در یک تو بای چون به چون نای کار بگه تو تری هنره پانده پیک اومده وی هنده گو فور تاونس از بیه گواد اپریتن سلم هنره پانده در تری هنره بای سم فای کار می که هده دره پیکتی بای تر نگاه همه دینی پلیت تو اونی پیکتی پانده پیغا And we took that, me when we went to the plant, you come up. All the all the plant, all the plant, the plant, the plant. Yeah, why you come? And we decide, we're going to eat our food. Got mango, got juni mango, graham mango, owin mango, hayden mango, and nevis mango, long mango, but about five or six different mango. I got plum, a yellow plum, a purple plum. I got maraca, or tasty apple, two trees. I got sugar apple. I got cost, two cups of apple. I have, I had guava, the guava dead. I had four avocado peas, I only got two now. Or you can't deal with two. And me ain't able to go out and look after them. So I got two there now, see. Um, I have cashew, a big cashew tree, and a small other cashew tree. I got plum granite, and a plum granite down there. Um, I got, that in, um, I got something. Oh, sour orange. I had grapefruit and orange. How you can move with them. I cook on how you can move with them. So, 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 Yeah, I got so, so. Got papa, I get papa, plant, your plant, but some part of So, do you say, I'm peas and peas, white beans, you know? So, do you make lemongrass to make tea, sweet marjoram to make tea? I think I'm not worried too much if they're putting me back with from now in the supermarket. Put them all the idea to make. I got a fellow come do some work in the yard from here now, but keep it find some sweet margin plant. I don't worry about it. Take a friend and eat out the idea. You know, you got in some sweet margin, you got in some, some uh, mint and something else and things like that. They don't know how to make tea out of it. And that's why they think they're getting the wrong with this damn country. You want to live. With the, and, and these things from the other people. So because they got some high grade coffee in some bottle for $10, they'll buy that. When you have get too much tea from outside the end, so that bad nothing. Right? Yes. So, I, that is the kind of, of, of story of that kind of thing. Yeah, we have the culture of the other people. Well, alright. Joe Man tells you they got to get a William Doe. Right? <laughs> in the ministry, I've got your land holding a label. So jump in the ministry. Interesting holding a label. Right? Up in that week, you're getting a lot of housing. You're buying land now at Boys and all about the place and they put them housing down. How to see it? Right into the agreement. So every house must have at least one coconut, one citrus, one mango, or some other fruit tree. And produce these in Ladrid to sell them at $10 a piece each each. But you have to get staff as well. In the long run, you're paying staff. But in the short run, if every one of these things, they're going to have to buy these things from up here. That don't pay for it. And I now go to the British government, who had an agronomy student teacher called Betty Metcalf, called Betty Down, still so don't talk to her. Tell her about the program, Betty tell me that's a very good program. I said, well, then what the British government is going to have to do for us is give us a propagation unit to put in the yard up here. So when you go up to that week now, you're going up to the defense force, on the left hand side, right at the end, is going building them buildings there, were given. And some building a little further down, were got in some plants and stuff. That was given. Along with the Land Rover. I even got such of the fella Hanley, who used to live over at some plant site. Get him down to the guy in a school agriculture to come to plant propagation. And here is what I, again, you see, you say joke I make you when I tell you, I tell you. I said, since people are going to have small plots, one acre, one acre. 
and the other thing called graphene and body. Get a sour orange stock. Graphene and lime, orange, and a grapefruit, a tangerine. One plant be a tree for different fruit. He will have work up there to do. But other people can see that they are wanting to put in the yard too. So it's a matter of supply and demand. That's sure when you get them, they're gone. You get them, they're gone. That's when that's what will happen. As in the front of your yard when you want to beautify, croton. Grab on two, three different colors of croton and one plant for beautification. Book and build there. You could do that. That was never done. Nowadays when I grew up by that meat, I've been there for a long time. But the last time I went up there, where there was supposed to have propagation things going on, they must pour up fertilizer and all kind of thing in the new right by the edge of the place. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Just like I was able to beg, the government didn't buy those. If you beg sensibly and people see what you really love, when you beg them cattle. Look when you beg them flour and the mackerel. If you tell people something sensible and they see you trying to walk and you're just trying to give them, you get assistance. When you come again, you look at it and you walk out and know what we really do I get out of it. I tell you what you get. <laughs> you see, $50,000 that in the bank for 40 years, then you get a couple of days. That's what you get. And the next thing you ain't get is this. And you will find it very difficult to believe. Simmons turned me away in 1980, February. I had worked in NACO for about nine years, 70 going up to 80. Paying Social Security. And when I got fired, I got a letter from Social Security. Tell me to send back the money to me that I paid in. You shake up your head? Send back the money to me, tell me this is the money I paid in. Kidding. To February, kidding? So from 1980 till 2018, I have not got a cent from so Social Security. I am to call Van Semery. I have a note on thing there to call for this wife. I am not going to argue the government. And if you say I subscribe to Social Security and all the money we give back my money, I take it and I don't do that. But why I'm not going to with it right now and I'm going to call that is the following. My wife died a couple of months ago. And we made arrangements with the I mean, funeral home. Very. And my little daughter went down to make a transaction. They told her that it would be the price is some so, but less $2,500. So she asked them why. Well, For social, security. social Security will pay $2,500. So, which company in 10 years No, I don't get Social Security. Is it 20, 2018, 2018? So, so, your wife wasn't getting either? No. She retired just before the Social Security came into me. Oh, okay, okay. So, I could understand. She actually became government. Okay, pension. okay, okay. She retired as government statistical officer. So, I told the girl, if they're going to give $2,500, go down quick, collect it. 